Hi, friends! Welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Thank you for being here. Are you ready to listen to a friend for Mole? Mole was quite fond of his cozy burrow. He liked his soft bed of leaves, the warm smell of the earth, and the quiet darkness all around. Snug underground, he felt the activity above him: tapping grain, buzzing insects, scampering footsteps. All these sounds helped Mole imagine the world outside. One day, Mole heard loud shouting and laughter overhead. His burrow shook, and dirt drifted down from the ceiling. What was happening? He decided to take a peek. The bright light, loud noises, and new smells were overwhelming. Mole blinked and rubbed his eyes. Oh no! He thought this was a bad idea. Mole tried to get back to his home, but he couldn't find the opening. He panicked and began to run, but then he tripped over a root and tumbled into a bush. Inside, it was dark and quiet. It reminded him of home. Mole was exhausted. Before he knew it, he had fallen asleep. When Mole woke up, it was night. He heard a rustling noise. Something was out there. Oh no! Thought Mole, please don't be something scary. Mole closed his eyes and pretended not to be there, but it was too late. Are you afraid of the dark too? A voice whimpered. What? Mole blinked. No, he whispered. I'm afraid of the light. Mole fell bolder. Who are you? He asked. I'm me. The creature said. I'm Wolf. Some animals were chasing me. I ran away, and now I'm lost, and I'm scared. Wolf was afraid too. Mole was surprised. What could they do? They thought and thought, and then they both said, "I think I can help you. I'll stay with you while it's dark." Mole said, "And I'll help you find your way home in the morning." Wolf said. They both agreed. It was an excellent plan. Now Mole and Wolf felt very brave. To pass the time, they made up all kinds of games. Wolf showed Mole how to hunt imaginary slithering creatures. Mole taught Wolf how to stomp on pretend scampering bugs. But the best game of all was chasing away scary monsters. They were both very good at that. It was all so much fun that they forgot about being lost and scared. The sun rose over the horizon, and suddenly Mole thought about home. Wolf was also feeling homesick. It's time to be on our way, he said. Together they searched for Mole's burrow and Wolf's den. Wolf used his big tail to shade Mole's eyes from the bright sun. His soft fur was tickly. Mole giggled. Soon Mole could smell familiar scents. He knew they must be close to his home. Is this your burrow? Wolf asked. Yes, yes, cheered Mole. I'm home. Now Mole felt sad. It was time to say goodbye. Will you be okay? He asked Wolf. Oh, I'll be fine," said Wolf. "I can see the big trees that are near my den. I live really close to here." Mole realized that he would miss his new friend. "Can we play again sometime soon?" he asked. "Yes!" shouted Wolf. "That was so much fun. I was scared, but having you there made everything okay." Mole knew exactly what Wolf meant. Thank you for listening, children, and I'll see you soon in the next video. 